Production. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to make lights 3D. And if you're wondering what that is, stay tuned. Oh, and by the way, this is Crazy D Productions. If you haven't seen me or heard of me, then too bad. That's your choice. So go check out my channel if you want um, and see what's going on with it. And then if you like it, subscribe, like, and be part of us. So today we're going to be doing some lights in this room and I want you guys to look at what options we have. So I'm going to go ahead and we're in sectors mode. This is basically any level you want. You want to put lights, whatever. The ceiling, we want to go ahead and hit lights. Let's go ahead and hit ceiling two. Um, view ceiling textures up here so that's what we have as ceiling textures so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my level a little bit so by doing that or the room a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and hit the L button select both walls with left click and then right click and hold down and drag the wall over as you see and then I'm gonna hit the C button to clear those so I don't remove them again and then I'm gonna hit L button for lines right click hold it down and drag and I'm gonna do the same thing for I think that's it I'm gonna make an extra line right here and then I'm gonna hit make make this section I'm gonna make the ceiling wood face I don't know what, what it was. Cancel, so I'm gonna go over here. That one's called ceiling one. I'm gonna copy that font and then I'm gonna hit ceiling one. Paste. And is that even what I was supposed to do? Yeah, there we go. Now it updated. So now the level looks like this. So for example, there's a couple of ways to do this, but I'm gonna do it my way. We're at AMP, I call it eight pixels. So let's go ahead and increase that all the way up by hitting the close bracket, the one that looks squared. Two keys to the right of the letter P if you have a standard USA keyboard. So yeah, now that we're here, there's a couple of ways to do this. So we're gonna just go to lines mode and draw a square around this. I need to adjust this square a little bit. Let's see, where's the V for vertices? There we go. Do another square around here. And then we're gonna hit the M button to make a section there. And basically what we have done is that's a section now that's a section and this is a section so let's go ahead and continue you're probably gonna be like whoa this guy took it to the next level I do warn you if you are doing this and your computer does not have much resources as like RAM and a fast processor or you're running an old operating system or it's it needs like it just runs slow. I don't recommend doing this, but it's fine. You can do it if you want. I have um, not a gaming PC, but it's pretty, I would say advanced section. So I just made the little bolts, right? Clear, make section, I'm gonna make all these. I just click them to make sure they're sections. And now I'm gonna hit sections. I'm gonna copy that So by selecting it and then hitting control C. I'm going to paste it on top of this bolt, paste it on top of the next, control V, left click to drag it over. You can hit enter or if you don't want to, that's fine. Um, I just right click and drag it and then hover my mouse over to where I want. The next one hit paste and then that automatically hits enter. So 
and then I can just paste all those over there but I'm just gonna select them all so like this copy and then paste them up and here I wonder how I can Let's go to this and I'm gonna do this this I wonder if this will join them as one let's see sections no I didn't we have all sections made now and then I'm gonna do one last thing I'm gonna make a square around this. Zooming in and zooming out really, really, really works. Trust me on that, really works. So, and then there's just two more things that I wanna do. Well, four more things. Delete section. I went to there was a vertice in there that I did not want to have, so I hit the V key for vertices and I just hover over it until it's yellow. Hit delete. Go to sections, which is S. Click this till you see the one yellow or it's highlighted. Copy and then paste it again over just the same process we did earlier, and then that'll do. Enter. So now we come in here, we have different sections to do whatever the hell we want with them. So, the first one will be to copy all this. Well, before I do that, let's just do this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and raise this section over here by ceiling height, I would say maybe 130. And then we have that coming off a little. The, I'm gonna select all these guys. So all the bolts outside. The main frame, the center frame, the bolts in there, the four metal bars, like gel bars or whatever beams and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna hit a ceiling height if you go less numbers the ceiling height drops if you go higher numbers ceiling height goes higher so let's do 127 hit OK I know you're probably wondering what the heck is going on and then I'm gonna hit all the bolts on the outside. I wish I could do this to the walls too. So I'm going to do 125. I'm going to lower down the height of the bolts. As you can see now. Don't worry. No, it looks red. We'll fix the graphics later. Now we're going to select these guys. The four bolts and the main frame in the center. Right click. I'm going to do a one. Mm, I don't know, what do you think? 124? Whoa, that'll be weird. 124. Here. And then these bolts, we're gonna, the four bolts in the center, we're gonna put four or two below, so 122. Um, this can actually be a little bit less aggressive, so 123. And then the four things in the inside, or the three things in here. One, two, three, four. Right click, I want these at 125. Okay, so basically what we have made is our light became like a 3D light. Instead of being flat graphics, now it's actual live graphics. So there's ways of fixing all this, so don't be scared. So I'm gonna cop, I'm gonna select one of these walls, right click. Let's go to upper, which everyone has the exclamation. We will put metal texture, so metals right here. Let's do that, hit okay. And then 
there is like textures of bullets as you can see right there there's a little black one but just don't forget about it or just we'll worry about it Control z so it goes back to the normal texture and then i'm gonna just while i'm hovering over this and it's yellow i'm gonna hit copy hold down the shift key and click my mouse wheel in it'll paste it over there i'm still holding shift key paste it over here paste it here i'm just gonna go around there might be better textures you can use for this but this is satisfying to me and that basically should do it that is definitely 3d looking like and now what i'm gonna do now that everything has been to the right size measurement texture now all i'm gonna do is go to sections mode and copy this Make sure everything's selected, all the stuff you just made. Copy it, hover over here, hit paste, and then just clip it on the exact spot. Go over here to paste, clip it on to the right location, hit enter, paste again, and hit enter. And then you will have more of a, a live, look at that. This looks way better more of a live um, just more of a live view of what actually you can do with these pixels or with this one pixel down here you can just edit the thing go crazy like I'm, I'm, I'm not joking you can make some incredible detail in a game so if I want to make a one pixel by one pixel by one pixel by one pixel and then I go in here and find it right there. I can make little things like that. Like that's just, I know a pixel, right? But you can really adjust things dramatically with this. But remember, oh, what's all this? Control Z, clear, Control Z and clear. So yeah, I mean, control the detail that's gone there we go that's just basically a tutorial on how to do 3d lighting and if i really wanted to actually go the extra mile then i would select this section this section this section this section right click increase brightness 255 and then it'll give it a better like view so there's a bunch of things you guys can do. Um, I'm gonna show you a preview of how this looks in gameplay. So um, let's see what happens. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned because it's about to get fun. Hey guys, well I'm back over here. Um, so this is what that ending product looks like. This is just an example. You have endless opportunities or endless possibilities of what you want to do with these um, options I've taught you. Um, so you can make lights look 3D and I mean, I really think it pays off. I mean, think about it, it's just really, just a whole different world. Imagine how many other things you can make through. That wood can, the here can look 3D too and God, I wish it could be done on the walls, but that would require so much more resources and as I said earlier if you're trying to make a lot of lights like this in a lot in a room full of lights it'll take a lot of resources and your computer will be slow er. so yeah guys um, that was the tutorial and if you have any questions any comments or any suggestions for future videos please comment or email me and let me know because I'm very interested in continuing this Doom Builder playlist. So yeah, thanks a lot guys and you guys have a good day.